In this Python NiceGUI tutorial, we will make two different examples containing the circular progress element. In the first example, slider and progress objects will work synchronously with each other. At each slider step, an appropriate visual will be displayed on the screen. In the second example, the circular progress element can be used as a button. Each time the button is clicked, an image will be displayed on the screen. In the video, I will show step by step how to make applications. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, I will create a slider element. I am creating a variable. I send minute, max, step and value values to the slider function. I save the code file and run it. You can go to this address using any browser. I added a slider element consisting of four parts to the web page. Now I will add a circular progress object. I want slider and progress objects to work synchronously. I send the slider element to the bind value from function. I am saving the code file. Slider and progress objects work synchronously with each other. I want the appropriate image to be displayed on the screen according to the values of the slider and progress objects. To do this, I will define a function using the onChange property in the slider function. For now, I'm creating the function with pass. I will create an image element. I am creating a variable. I'm sending the football image to the function. I set the size using the classes function. I will use these images in the application. You can download the images from the GitHub link in the description of the video. I added the football image to the website. Let's start editing the function. If the slider value is less than or equal to 0.25, I will show the football image in the image object. I can set the image of the object using the set source function. I am saving the code file. It works as I want. If the value of the slider object is greater than 0.25, less than or equal to 0.5, I will show the basketball image. I am saving the code file. The application works as I want. I define within tennis. I am saving the code file. The application works as I want. Finally, I define an if query in hockey. I am saving the code file. The application works as I want. We have completed the first example. Now let's do the second example I showed. I will create the button and circular progress element together. To do this, I use the with keyword. I send minute, max and value values to the progress function. I define a function for the button. I am sending icon and onclick values. When the button is pressed, the function defined in onClick will be called. I save the image of the button as round using the props function. I now need to use the progress value instead of the slider object in the function. I am saving the code file. The program does not work as I want. 
I should increase the value of the progress object in the function by 0.25. I am making the necessary arrangements. I am saving the code file. Each time the button is clicked, the progress value increases and appropriate images are displayed. I do not want the progress value to appear. Let's fix this. I set the show value to false. I am saving the code file. Each time the button is clicked, the progress value increases and appropriate images are displayed. In this video, we learned how to use the circular progress element. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.